was asked to do this. It's just a home workout as I see it. Somebody asked about the home workouts that I do because um, I don't believe in doing these ones. I don't believe, right, wholeheartedly in going in the kitchen, grabbing two tins of beans or tomatoes, don't judge me, happy shop of tomatoes, happy shop of tomatoes and doing little, you know, you see them all the time in the kitchen with, no, the people that do those are usually in, a, in amazing shape and they didn't get in amazing shape lifting tomato cans or tins of beans. They didn't, right? So we don't use these. No, even though Happy Shopper, 69p, we don't use them. On a serious note, on a serious note, I just want to show how we can do a proper workout, a challenging workout, a tough workout with no equipment. But I want to show how I would do a home workout now, which is absolutely no equipment. No equipment needed other than a towel. We are going to use a towel. Preferably blue. Preferably a blue one. Blue ones are better, apparently. So, so there's no tins of beans. We don't use them. But we use a towel. You know, not everybody wants to do burpees in their living room. They don't. And I was going to get changed as well, right? I was going to get changed. I got my nice DHP shorts and a t-shirt, right? But then I thought, well, I fucking hell. You know, I want to show that we just literally can grab our phones, follow our workout, so you don't need to get dressed. I am changed from the gym this afternoon, scruffy bastard, right? So again, I'm not trying to prove nothing, just trying to show. Just take all the bullshit away, take all the fuss away. What do we need to do? So we can literally come home from work, kick your shoes off, you know, take your lipstick off if you need to, and crack on. So let's, let's get on with it. So what we got... Exactly the same as the gym there. You should do five to six exercises, right? In the gym, exactly the same. Half an hour maximum, absolute maximum, if we do it with this level of intensity. So I'm gonna go through the full session now, exactly as, as, as I would do it. This is what I would do. I would put two exercises back to back, right? So we're gonna do body weight, um, body weight split squats, okay? And then we're gonna do a Superman. So we're gonna go to all you need is a square. A patch of floor, that's all you need. We're going to be doing body weight stuff, right? So we need those muscles under tension. So we can do a split squat. So a split squat, again, we're going to be down there. We're working glutes, we're working quads, hamstrings. Again, I always keep it to about 8 to 10 reps either side. Any more, it gets boring and it gets sloppy. If I say do 15, we end up just drifting, right? So we need to be concentrating. So we got your quads, we're working ass. Sorry, crude. Bang. So you're slow. I'm under tension now, I'm not coming up and I'm not bouncing or swinging. Short, short movements. Again, you'll feel that. Keeping the tension in those legs. Bang, again, I don't know how many that was. I don't really care, to be fair. Switch sides, exactly the same. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. Slow movements. We don't need any weight. This is, this is what we call isometric. It's just muscles under tension. It works, trust me, this is... This will challenge you. From there, we're going with the Superman's, which is a back exercise, okay? So we're going to be on the floor. If you can see me properly, there we go. So we're going to be arms outstretched, lifting your legs and your chest off the floor again, slow. Squeeze your lower back at the top. You should feel it now in that lower back. Great for strengthening lower back. Little pause at the top. Bang, again, I don't know how many are done. Don't really care. So there's, there's two exercises back to back. So we can do three rounds of those. 20, 30 seconds rest, we go again. Next up, we're gonna do what we call a diamond press up. Again, people get worried about press ups. The worry about press ups, we can do them on our knees. It's about working the arms and the shoulders on this one. So we're in that motion there, diamond, because we put our hands like that. And we're going to be doing more triceps, shoulders rather than wide, which is chest. And we're going to superset that with a chest squeeze, which is a chest exercise. Bang. And I'll show you that in a second. So let's go. Three rounds of these. So we're going to do that presser position. Again, if you need to be on your knees, absolutely fine. You know, we're going to put our hands in that diamond position. If I come in front of you, you can see that's it there. And we're going to come down. Push up. You can see it. It's all in the shoulders, all in the arms. If you need to drop to your knees, it's still tough. Still tough. 
Just takes a little bit of pressure off the legs. Bang. Straight from there, we're going to go into an isometric chest press, which is a posh word for squeezing our hands together. So, we're going to put our hands like that. Bang. And you can see the chest working. Squeeze. Again, what we're not doing is just holding there, standing there, right? We're getting everything tight. Nice and firm base. Squeeze that together. If you can't feel the chest across there, again, we'll hold that for about 10 seconds or so until you start to feel it. Bang. Second group done. Last group of two exercises. We get our towel for this one. And again, a rule of thumb is if you're ready to start talking, or if your mind starts drifting into other things, you're ready to go again, right? But we're not rushing. Notice we're not rushing anything. Okay, so what we've got first is a body weight sumo squat. So wide, wide stance. Again, we're gonna keep the tension out. This is predominantly hamstrings, but predominantly glute exercise, okay? So we're gonna go into that wide stance. I'll demonstrate from different angles. Again, no weight, but the tension is going to stay here and here. So again, in that position there, sit. You notice people will say I'm not moving much, correct. But the tension is there and there. Because if I went all the way down and sat there or bent forward or come all the way up, it's easy, it's off tension. This way, all the work is inner thighs, glutes, in there. Again, show each side on. Nice wide stance, chest high. Ooh, man, tough. Then we get our towel then for another back exercise. So, so far, we've worked legs, glutes and hamstrings and quads, shoulders, chest. We've done a back exercise, now we can do another back exercise. Full body stuff, man, full body stuff. So this one is a towel row. Okay, so we're gonna be in there. Tight towel out in front. Can you see? There we go. Tight towel out in front. And we pull it back. Pulling the elbows in. Pulling the towel. But while keeping the tension on there. In. And you'll feel that. Probably the toughest one so far. Making sure that you're in on the floor. But we're pulling in there. So imagine I'm on the floor now. Pulling in, pulling your shoulder blades in, basically, there. Awesome. That is, that's how we do it. Again, not trying to prove or disprove anything. I just want to show, well, I'm proving, I suppose, that you can do a proper workout. A proper workout with no equipment. You know, is it ideal? What is, isn't it? What is ideal, you know? We always can ask for, well, if we had one more bit of kit, or if I had a kettlebell, or if I had, you know, five minutes more, it's always something we can add to everything. But, if you want to get it done, in 20 minutes, three of those a week, man, that would hit the spot. You can see, see my breathing now. And again, you know, I'm not deliberately scruffy, but you don't need to get changed. You don't need any special trainers, or, you know, just fucking crack on. I'm going to sign out. Take my happy shot of tomatoes back up. We're done. Hope that was some use. Happy to answer any questions you may have, any issues, anything about getting started. Let's get it. I want us, I want us all getting us fitter and healthier. Fitter and healthier. Every one of us can move our fitness and health somewhere. We can move it somewhere, you know? So, have a great night. Adios.